The Servants of the Word are an international brotherhood of celibate Christian men committed to serving the Lord and his people. While they are spread out over different regions of the world, their work in the Philippines is their most far-flung mission location and perhaps the most radical of their work. The origins of our life there date back to our very first visit, 1976. It thoroughly changed my orientation for what I wanted to do with my life. I was just like captivated by the idea of like, giving my best to the Lord, uh, loving the Lord as best as I can. Serving the Lord in a developing country provides a number of challenges, one of which is the nature of the city of Manila. Metropolitan Manila is a huge city. The city of Manila is long and thin. The infrastructure is not good. So Manila would be heavy, heavy in traffic, heavy with people, and that's where we live, busy life of Manila. While living out their lives in the city of Manila, the servants of the word in the Philippines have served the Lord and those around them in a variety of ways. Their first, and still main work, has been campus outreach. Much of what we do has to do with youth work. Predominantly, what the brothers are doing in the Philippines would be uh, heavily invested on uh, university outreach. The goal for their youth work in the Philippines has been to not simply make an impact and move on. The servants of the word in Manila put a tremendous amount of work into fostering the spiritual growth of everyone they reach. This is made possible by their steady, consistent presence. I would say on the one hand, the, the fact that we've been there for quite a long time means that we've had many generations of young people that we have had some contact with that we've worked with in one way or another. That's very critical in our kind of work not simply to do um, barnstorming and kind of go here and do something and then move on. No, we, we provide an environment that provides a, a possible, a lifelong support for these young people. Another mission of theirs, community building, is meant to foster a kind of support and environment that allows members of their communities to flourish as disciples of the Lord and as strong men and women. We need to have a supportive environment for these young people to endure through all the stages of their life. For Christ all our life, for the rest of our lives. Beyond their primary work of community building with young professionals and university outreach, the Servants of the Word have in recent years begun to increase their work with the poor in Manila and with indigenous groups outside the city. We do some work in uh in a variety of ways among the poor. There's a lot of opportunity to work with the poor. In the urban poor, so we have uh, Bible studies with them. Uh, we have uh, tutorial services for street children who are in school but who live on the road, on, on the streets. So, uh, so we have opportunities like that. We go to rural places. So we have like indigenous people, uh, different tribes in the country that are uh, close enough to Manila that we visit regularly. Uh, so teach them about Christ, about the Lord. Uh, also teach them how to speak in English, but also make some very concrete practical help, such as uh, giving them cooking utensils, uh, water jugs for them to, uh, to get water uh, from the stream. And they would walk several miles just to get water. While having operated in the Philippines for over 30 years, the servants of the word have many areas where they can still grow. Living in a country with so much need, there are always new ideas brewing that are awaiting the funds and the resources to come to fruition. We're in a place in which we, we could do a lot more with more resource. In terms of opportunities to have more mission, where there would be indigenous people, so to replicate that and help other areas as well would be very key. We could build things. We could have more youth centers. We, we, we currently have one such youth center. It's a huge success, but it's only in one part of the city. Um, and we're talking about a big, big city. So it would be wonderful if we had a number of these youth centers. Though there is much room for growth, the servants of the word in Manila are thankful to the Lord for the ways he has provided for them and they continue their work with zeal for the call the Lord has placed on them. Our Father in Heaven is a rich God. <laughs> he provides, and He has provided all these years. I pray, and I would ask for prayer, that 
that our numbers would grow, that the resources to be able to support those numbers would grow, and that the doors will open for us to continue to reach out, particularly to the, the large numbers of young people in many of these Asian countries around us, as well as in the Philippines. We're here for the long haul. We'd like to continue to be good servants of the Lord in Asia.